Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day for this very important session. By now, I hope you've all read my most recent note in which I pledge to be a better ally for the LGBTQ plus community, apologize for not being the ally that you needed me to be, and committed to ensuring that our company lives up to its values. I meant every word, and that's what we're here to talk about today. I know that we've got work to do, and that work starts with listening. I understand that we've made mistakes and the pain that those mistakes have caused. And I know that our silence wasn't just about the bill in Florida, but about every time an individual or institution that should have stood up for this community did not. I and the leadership team are determined to use this moment as a catalyst for more meaningful and lasting change. I identify as like a biromantic asexual. It, it feels like the things that we believe that we're trying to put into the shows are not what we're seeing in the real world. And yeah, it, it leaves you in a weird space. I'm still thinking like I want to use my content to like go deeper, like talk about how non-monolithic the LGBTQ plus community as an asexual as an asexual like it's just like i feel like a lot of people don't know what that is i have to like have a dissertation ready at any given time i want to like add the po the the pockets of the lgbtq community that you don't see i was like i want to get like gay advanced and then i realized like oh shit, we need to go back to like gay 101. the other big area is gender identity and expression so doing all of this work uh to ensure that our employees and cast can express their gender here authentically and proudly at the company so you know coming up with guides on how to change your photo information about pronouns working with our benefits team to give information about gender affirmation procedures both for our employees who are transitioning and trans, but also our employees who have kids who are transitioning. Nobody stopped us and, and it felt great. And, and in part, I, I think nobody stopped us because we were, um, you know, we were targeting Gen Z and, and millennials. We were tar targeting a younger, um, I, I think more open-minded, um, and, and now we know, you know, as my son texted me this morning, <laughs> you know, Gen Z is 30 to 40 percent queerer than the other generation's mom. So Disney better get with it. Just the fact of like how painful this has been. And as a black person, as a black queer person, as a black queer and trans person, you know, to do the work of holding the company accountable means unpacking my own pain for somebody else to learn. Mm. And that is really hard to do without knowing that it's going to get better. And so if I'm going to continue to do this and continue to show up and kind of lay myself bare for the benefit of my colleagues and our leadership, um, I want to know that something is going to be done about it.